Welcome to the Life Taco Podcast, uh, Carlos Lemus. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Nice. Um, so you're kind of on the uprise on Instagram. You have 13.9 thousand followers. That's not a bad start. Yeah. Um, I've been posting for a while, so yeah, it's pretty yeah. good. <laughs> um, when did that start? How did you start uh, getting so many followers? Um. So. Out of nowhere, I just I just kept on posting and posting, and then out of nowhere, I got on the Explore page, and I got, like, 5,000 likes on this one post, and I just got followers and followers, and then that's just, you know, that's just how it works, I guess, so, yeah. yeah. I guess so. Um, where are you from? Um, I'm from El Salvador. I'm Hispanic, but I was born here in Virginia, so, yeah. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Do you have any memories from El Salvador? Um, no, not really. I mean, no, no. Yeah, it was like a long time ago. So, yeah. Do you? Guys... I did go. I did go over there in second grade. So, okay. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Do you guys ever uh, have visits over there? Yeah. Um, I went in second grade, and now I'm in eleventh grade. So it's like a big difference. But I'm supposed to go in May. So I really plan on going. I'm really excited to go, and I'm really excited to see my old family members. So yeah. I'm gonna go again. Oh yeah, I was about to say, do you have family members down there? So yeah, I do. I have um, I have a lot for my mom's side and my dad's side. Cool. Um, how old are you, by the way? Um, I'm 16, and I turn 17 next month. So nice. Basically, 17. Yeah. You made a funny post earlier. I was gonna mention the um about the red flags. What are your red flags? <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Oh, go on, ahead. On Instagram, I like to be myself. I don't want to fake my personality. That's how I act. Every like everything I post is truly me. I like to make jokes, and that's just how I am. My humor is a little odd, but I mean, people like it. So yeah, I just I like to I like to think that Instagram is like my home. I like to like it's my account, so I do whatever I want. And so yeah, I just get comfortable with everything. So yeah, I put that red flag thing because I saw everyone was doing it. So I wanted to see you know what people had to say. Yeah, because so many influencers, like, they do dances, music, and things like that, and you never really see any of their real personality. You don't know what they're like. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and one of them was that <laughs> one of yours was bathroom pictures being your <laughs> source your source location. I thought that was So funny. that was one of my friends who put that. Um, it's because back then, when, like, when I first started posting, I posted outside. But, like, but not, but then... I started posting inside, and that's when I blew up. I blew up posting at my school um, bathrooms. I'm not sure why, but I I guess it's just the setting and stuff. But and then and then yeah, I stopped posting in the bathrooms because you know people were just saying that like it's bad or something. So yeah, I just stopped. And I just listened to them, but I plan on going back, so I'm not too sure. But I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, did you get any other funny responses, or was that probably the the funny? Um, that's probably the only one, to be honest. Yeah, I don't really get much, but yeah. Um, where are some places that you've traveled besides El Salvador and places that you want to go? Um, so I really want to go to Chicago, Illinois, and Seattle because I really want to go to Seattle the most. Though. I just want to see that, I don't know what it's called, but that long statue, whatever, it's just so nice. That long building, I really want to see it. And Chicago, I really want to go because I don't know. It just gives me like it just gives me like a place to go, you know. Like I just think about it a lot. Um, I went to Florida last summer. I went to Universal Studios, so Orlando, Florida, and then I went to Massachusetts, Boston, about three months ago, and um, I also went to New York. And yeah, that's about it. Nice. Uh, where are some places that you'd like to go? Um, I like to. Oh, go you already to, said that, Chicago. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but I also really want to go Rainfort. to California, LA. I mean, like I know it's like. You know, I know that everyone wants to go there, but I don't know. I just, I really want to go to like go see and visit, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of um, influencers in California and Texas too, I've noticed. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. In Texas, uh, I forgot about that. I was supposed to go to Texas last year because my dad, he has a friend that lives in Houston. And so I was supposed to go to Texas, but we couldn't go because um, I forgot why, but we just couldn't go. But I really want to go this year. I really want to go to Texas. It's nice over here. Yeah. Um, there's not a lot in Virginia, not a, a lot of influencers, so that's pretty cool. You you took yeah. off in a place where there's not that many. <laughs> um, 
Where, uh, or sorry, not where, um, what are some uh, of your favorite movies? My favorite movie of all time is Venom, the Marvel movie, because I'm a, I just like the action and I just like how, like, how the CGI looks. It's just really good. I like it a lot. And my second favorite movie is Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. I'm a really big Star Wars boy. Like, I'm obsessed with Star Wars. It's just so good. I have a Star Wars poster back there. Um, I, on my PlayStation, all I play is Star Wars. Like, I, I just, I have Legos back there from Star Wars. Like, I just, I love Star Wars. I've been loving it since I was a kid. So, yeah, that, those are my favorite movies. Well, two. You, should, you should watch one of my other episodes. I have a Star Wars super fan, and he gets, like, tattoos before the movies. Yeah. And, like, it's, uh, old costumes set. You did see it? <laughs> yeah. When I grow up, I really want to have a room just full of Star Wars stuff, like just full of Star Wars. I don't, I don't know why, but I just want to. It's just, it'll just, it'll be, it'll just be so cool. Yeah. So you like all of them, then the George Lucas and then and the prequels and then the new ones too. The Disney. Yeah, I like all of them. Yeah, all of them. I heard there's like people who don't like the new ones, but honestly, like it's just an actor. I mean, it's just a character. You don't really have to hate on it. I just and I love how they made a girl a Jedi. We haven't really seen that in the movie, so it just like it makes it look like really cool. And so yeah. I like it. I like I like every movie from Star Wars. Nice. Um, what are your favorite sports? Um, uh, my favorite sport is basketball. When I was younger, I used to play soccer. Um, and then in freshman year, I tried out for a basketball team. I mean, I didn't make it, but like, I I had fun trying out. So, and yeah, I mean, I don't play basketball now, but I I like I don't really like sports, but basketball is like something I like, you know. Yeah. Um. Do you like school? Um, school it's like it's like in the middle for me like I like it only because of the friends the learning is like okay sometimes but it's it's not bad yeah uh favorite class and least favorite class my favorite class is environment science and my least favorite class is geometry I I mean everyone doesn't like math but it's just something about that class like but I love science I'm just I love science so much I really yeah, like you know it. all the basic stuff when you start adding in like C and Y times X. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, what is this even talking about? <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, just favorite things. Uh, favorite color. My favorite color is black. Um, my second favorite color is green, I guess. And then favorite things, like I said, I like Star Wars a lot. Um, and then I guess that's all. I don't really have any favorite things, but. Yeah, um, favorite clothing brand. Um, I don't really have a clothing brand that I like because I just go thrifting and I go to like every store just to get clothing. But I guess, I mean, I guess I'll say, I'm not sure if this is a clothing brand. I know it's a shoe brand, but I like Jordan a lot, so that's that's one. Yeah, um, that's pretty cool that you go thrifting and stuff like. I I never really thought of thrifting as like a cool idea. And uh, Mark Gomez put out a, re a video recently though, like he's one of the influencers that's been on my channel, and he he goes thrifting and he has like these fashion stylists picking out clothes and stuff. And I was like, oh, I guess. Oh yeah. I guess you can yeah find all of the posts, there. all of the posts on all my Instagram are is all thrifted. This is thrifted. This hoodie is from Julian Barboza. It's just merch, so. But yeah, um, this is thrifted. Like everything I have is thrifted. Everything. Wow, that's crazy. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't think you could, but your style's pretty good. So yeah, that's 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 awesome. Um, yeah, uh, describe your style. Like what um, the stuff that um, you. Wear stuff. So I like to think that my style is skating. You know, like you know how like those skaters wear like those baggy clothing and stuff. I like to think my style is like you know that type of style because. I wear baggy clothing. This shirt is a size large, and I'm a size medium, so it's it's not that big, but it's pretty big. Like it goes down, and um, yeah, I I wear like pants that are like not that baggy, but just like slim, you know, but like show that they're baggy. Um, so yeah, I like to I like to wear oversized clothing, but not too oversized, cause I like if it was comfortable, and also I don't know, I just like to fit in. So yeah, yeah, um. This is one I've been asking lately. You get kind of funny answers. Uh, what's your best Halloween costume that you've worn? Your favorite? Ah, uh, my best Halloween costume. This year I wore Harry Potter, but back then, back then I used to always wear the exact same costume. It was this Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper, like I had the hood on and stuff, and I had the glowing red eyes, and I could never see because it was so dark. 
because we had to go trick or treating in the dark and I just couldn't see anything. And I used to bump into little kids and stuff, and it was so funny. I used to like draw my candy and stuff, and when I had to take the hood off, and it was so hard to breathe in that thing. Like I could not breathe at all. <laughs> but next year, I plan on being a Star Wars character, so I really can't wait for that. But uh, yeah. which character? Um, I plan on being either Han Solo or a Jedi. So I don't know, but I'm really excited for that. And then this summer, I'm supposed to go to Universal Studios. No, I'm supposed to go to Disney World. I'm gonna go to Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge. I can't wait. I can't wait. But yeah, I love Yoda, but that would be a hard Halloween costume to do. <laughs> oh yeah, it would be. Um, your followers are gonna want to know, or people watching this, do you have a girlfriend? Um, I don't have a girlfriend, but people think I have a girlfriend because I have this girl best friend. Her name is Angie. We've been friends since sixth grade, and we've been like really, really close and like. Sometimes she's in my comments. You can find her on my new post. She's like, hi, shot. I'm like, I love you because I love her so much. She's like a friend. She's such a close friend to me, but I don't have a girlfriend. I'm not looking for a relationship, but I mean, if it happens, it happens. So, Yeah. Um, so how did uh, COVID impact your life um, in the last little while or has it like the last few um, years? It hasn't really impacted my life because... Before COVID, all, I did the exact same thing. I came back from school, I slept, played video games. Well, all the way around, but yeah. I did the exact same thing, and now it's all over again. I mean, now I go to school with mask on, but like during online school, it was it actually wasn't that bad, to be honest. But I did the exact same thing, and it just felt so boring. But I mean, it wasn't really that bad. So yeah, it was like, it didn't really impact my life that much. Yeah, Virginia's, I don't think they had a big response to it, like California and New York. Yeah. Places yeah. like that, that's where it was really bad. Um, and then in places like where I'm from, Georgia, they just completely ignored it. They, like it didn't even happen. So. <laughs> um, originally from, I'm in Wisconsin now. But um, yeah, um, what's something that your supporters would be surprised to find out about you? Well, supporters... My supporters, when I first posted my voice, it was about three months ago, four months ago, they all were surprised with my voice. They were saying it was so light. Um, it was so light, you know, it didn't match me because back then I used to get made fun of for my voice. It was very, very squeaky. And now I'm like, I just don't care about it now, but it still happens now. But like, who would you say my voice doesn't match me? And also they're surprised about my age. They say, I don't look 16. Like, I have a baby face and stuff. And I don't know if it's good or bad. They say it's good. They say it's bad. But at this point, I, I don't even know. So That's funny. I would think you could pass for, like, 17 or something. I wouldn't think that you looked younger. So Yeah, lots of people would think I'm 14. I don't know why, but I mean. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, what's a lesson that you learned in the last year, 2021? I'm getting a little deeper with the questions now. <laughs> um. A lesson I learned, I guess a lesson I learned is to not take everything for granted because you should just appreciate everything you have and everything that's around you and just love everything because not everyone has that. And I mean, I guess that's a lesson I learned. I learned it kind of near the end of the year, but yeah, just be um, grateful for everything. That's all, that's all I learned. Yeah, uh, what are some of your future goals, like short-term this year and then long-term into the future? So long-term in the, into the future, my goal is to ha not have my parents work at all. I want them to live off of my money. I want to pay for their food, their house, everything. I just don't want them to work anymore. They've already worked enough for me, and they shouldn't work anymore. My short-term goal is to... Um, actually get you know a job that can support that so right now i plan on you know keep on going on instagram and then i plan on making a youtube channel which i will do my vlogs and stuff and you know be myself and see if anything happens and if that anything happens all that money will go to my parents and yeah let's hope i need to make this true and yeah right now i plan on paying off this house that i'm, that I'm in right now because they're having problems with the rent and so I got to help out. So, yeah, let's just hope everything goes well. Cool. Um, 
Yeah, that's really good. Um, talk talk to us about um, you know, I didn't see your YouTube channel before we came on. It's not in your Instagram bio, but you said you have a YouTube channel. What kind of stuff do you post on there? I do. So back then, I used to post like when I had around five thousand, six thousand followers. I used to post on on YouTube because I wanted to start like now, so I could learn on my way. But it actually did really good. It got around like five hundred views and so, and like um thirty likes. It wasn't that much, but it was still really good to start off. But then I stopped because I haven't posted in a while and I just didn't have any YouTube ideas. I really wanted to collaborate with a lot of people because it'll be more interesting and stuff. And it, it would just be boring for me. And also lots of people have short term attention. Like they have either a five minute time span of, atten of attention. So I would make my videos short and just keep it clean. But now I just, I don't really have the time and like, I don't know, I just... I just, I archived all of my videos. I removed all of my socials from my Instagram. And yeah. Yeah, I think your bio is like, I don't know what I'm doing or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know why I'm here. I put that because there are so many times where I want to quit. Like, there are a lot of times I want to quit posting on Instagram that I just don't feel like posting. But the thing that keeps me going is my goal. Because literally that's the only option I have and the only way I have to go. And there's times where it makes me happy. So I put, I don't know why I'm here because I'm like bipolar about this. I'm not sure if I should keep on going or if I do keep on going. But in here, I know that I should keep on going because I have to keep on going. So. <laughs> what uh, what keeps you motivated to keep going? Um, My family, the money problem. That oh, keeps yeah. me going for sure. Uh, what's the best and worst thing about having a, a big following? So the worst thing is that nobody knows anything about you. They they like to know they like to think that they know about you, but they just don't. When you say, when you like act yourself, when you be yourself, they like to criticize you, they like to think that you would be this type of person, but you're really not. So it, there's goods and bads, but the good thing about it is that I always have people to rely on and people rely on me. I mean, I know she's posting, but like I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I make people stay by responding to them or following that, following that, following them back because I follow a lot of people back. If they ask me for a follow back, I'll follow you back. Like it's something bad, you know. It's just a follow. I mean, it's nothing. It's something that bad. Yeah, it's not exclusive. <laughs> yeah. Um, here's your Instagram page for people that don't know you. Um, my I don't si see an app called Instagram. Ah, my, you could try uh, searching the app store. That was weird. My, what do you call it? The person on your computer? Heard yeah, the speak over. Yeah, that was weird. I didn't press the button or anything. That was so creepy. Okay. It's whew, anyway, give me anyway. That was weird. Uh, yeah, the uh, Instagram page is Carlos One Lemus. Um, for people that don't know you, what kind of stuff do you post on there? Um, so I post, I just post pictures and pictures, but I post pictures about events. Um, if it's a picture in the bathroom, then I'm at school. If it's a picture outside, then I'm either going to a store or I'm having a party. Um, if it's a picture, like, recently I posted pictures in the snow because it snowed here, so I had to get advantage of that. Um, so that was about the weather. And I, I took some pictures on my bed, and I put I woke up because I woke up from sleeping. So most of my pictures are from events that happen, and... Yeah, I don't plan on posting any reels or videos, but it might happen later on. I'm not too sure yet, but no, not yet. Yeah, uh, do you enjoy the snow? Do you like that? Um, it's really cold, but I like it. I like it. It's, it's fun. It's nice to see it, you know, snow. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it, like living in Wisconsin, it snows all the time. So, really? um, yeah, it just started snowing like last week. I got a whole week off of school just because it snowed about four, three inches, something like that. It's crazy. <laughs> um, what's a message that you have to your supporters, the people that follow you and are loyal to you? Uh, what's something that you have to tell them that you'd, you'd like to before we close? Um, don't take anything for granted. I love you all. Thank you for everything. And I hope that we can go somewhere really far together. And I'll always remember everyone, everyone. I won't forget anyone. I won't change just you guys really mean a lot to me it's crazy how far we went and i hope we can go even more farther